Uh, Apple also, they made some updates to the iPad, specifically the software on the iPad, uh, iOS 13. Uh, now you can, or iPad OS, I guess is what they're calling it, the launch of iPad OS. So some new features to make the iPad more productive and a better laptop replacement. You probably all remember that I did uh, an experiment in which I gave up my laptop to try to survive solely on an iPad, an iPad Pro that was. And I got the keyboard case and the whole thing going on. And it didn't really work for me. I never, it never felt like a good replacement for me or like I wasn't happy enough to completely be done with a laptop, but they've made some changes to the OS to hopefully bridge that gap a little bit more. There's new split app or split view options within single apps. So you can be more productive within an app. And maybe most importantly, there is new file management. So you're gonna get file management that's more like a laptop. So you can finally start to utilize some of the storage that exists <clears throat> on locally on the iPad. And it's not just all iCloud in the cloud type of thing. You can move files directly to the iPad file system from a USB thumb drive straight off of a camera, for example. These things are a must, in my opinion, if you want to replace a laptop. You got to have things like this in there. Now, of course, the iCloud stuff will still operate as it has in the past, but now you have this local file management more akin to a full-out laptop or desktop operating system. So I can see a lot of people being excited about that. And uh, whether it's probably still not going to happen for me as a laptop replacement because I've spoke before about how much I like a tactile uh, keyboard to go with, you know, my mobile work. I'm just really into laptops right now. I don't see myself transitioning to an iPad replacement. For me, the iPad Pro in my life, it still sits beside my bed. And it's like every so often I'll do some reading on it or something, but it's still a supplementary device. I do think for a lot of people that can only have one device or the other, like you can only have the iPad or, or, or a laptop, you're making the, de the decision between the two. This thing is getting increasingly closer to a laptop-like experience or laptop-like capabilities through the accessories and, of course, the new software. So that's your life's going to be easier if you're trying to make this device do both. But I still feel like, for me personally, the drawbacks are too great to keep me away from a typical laptop. I just want, you know, sometimes I want a bigger display. Sometimes I want a dedicated keyboard with actually some key travel. I spoke about it in the past and it remains true for me that the laptop marketplace still satisfies me more. And I do the majority of my interacting with the internet on the laptop if it's not on the smartphone. So uh, 